Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later um, for our first deck of the day, which is Esper Exile. As you can tell, it's a donation deck. We have three donation decks on the schedule for today. Um, this one looks pretty cool. So basically, what we're trying to do is exile a lot of cards from our opponent and uh, use Kaya's ultimate to be able to win games. So like this is our only real win con, unless you count Teferi um, in our deck. Um, yeah, yeah, we don't want to play against Vivian, but that's that's see that's we're gonna try to Ixalan's binding Vivian and just get it out of here forever, so they can't play more Vivians. Um, hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Yeah, uh, I slept in a little bit longer today, um, and yeah, that was that was a pretty tiring day yesterday, but you know I'll, I'll get to bed a little earlier today and you know make up some more sleep and stuff. We'll be good. Um, yeah, so basically we're Esper Control, uh, but with the, the Exile theme. So we have Baffling Ends, we have Seal Aways, we have Bindings, we have Settles. Um, this is a, a card that you don't see basically at all, but I want to try it out. Um, settle the score. So we Exile a Creature, put two Loyalty Counters on a Planeswalker. We can do that for, for Surprise, like Kaya Ultimate, or, you know, most likely Surprise Teferi Ultimate. Uh, we have our Teferi at 6, and then suddenly we sell the score, and then suddenly we got Teferi Ultimate, which, of course, Teferi's Ultimate does exile permanence. Exiling permanence is what we want. Um, you can get there, Matthew. You can do it. Um, we have we have 8 cards that interact with Planeswalkers uh, when the Planeswalkers are on the battlefield with the 4 Binding and 4 Teferi. Uh, and then we also we have a couple counter spells, some negates and some secapates, and we have thought erasures to take them. The thing is, like, there's just not that many planeswalkers in in standard. Also, it's not like super popular. Um. Oh yeah, you forgot about Teferi Tuck. Yeah, yeah. No, Teferi's Teferi's just awesome. Deals with everything. <laughs> you tried sell the score a lot, and and it felt. Uh, so bad every time. Well, hopefully it'll be better for us. Brass's Contempt was the last card that I, I kind of squeezed out of the deck whenever I was trying, when I was putting this together here. Um, because we just had so many fours, and I think I just want to play Bindings instead of Contempts. Um, with us having, like, a lot of other enchantments and stuff, too. Uh, and while Binding is, uh, vulnerable... Against you know like a, a Vivian, you you know, you're binding like a Jade Light Ranger and they Vivian kill it. It's certainly vulnerable at times. Other matchups just don't have answers to binding. You know like if you start binding like Drakes and stuff, it can be pretty pretty nice. So yeah, Sell the Score can be surprise ultimates, um, or even maybe we have like a Teferi at two loyalty and then we sell the score so then it's up to four and then we get to minus three it again, or or something. Um, you know, who who knows. Good chance Contempt will be better, but we're going to, you know, we're playing a little bit of a janky deck. We're going to try it out. Our other cool card here is Mnemonic Betrayal. So um, this exiles all the cards from the opponent's graveyard, and then you can cast those cards this turn. So if our opponent has answers to Planeswalkers, this could be another answer to a Planeswalker. Um, but yeah, you know, like this is like a really late game card when we have like, you know, 8, 9, 10 mana. We just exile their graveyard, start playing like a couple of their creatures or, you know, whatever. It can be. Uh, it can also be kind of like a combo with Kaya. If we're about to ultimate Kaya, we can play this and just get rid of all the cards in their graveyard, exile them all, and that adds towards Kaya's total uh, for the minus five ability. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay. So that's what we got. Uh, sideboard. We have a bunch of Thief of Sanities, um, which is particularly good with Kaya because sometimes you play against opponents that they don't really fill their graveyard at all, and like these Thief of Sanities can put two cards. Put two cards in the graveyard, which you can then use your Kaya to exile them. And it also exiles another card. So it, you know, the whatever card you exile with Thieva Sanity also counts towards Kaya. So, um, so that's kind of cool too. So we have some some cool things that's kind of going on with our deck. We'll uh, try it out and see if it works. Esper Exile. What do you think, Hawkeye? You think it's gonna work? You're leaving. That's not good. That's per exile. 
Uh, MN. Monomic. Hey, Papa. Papa Tim. Good afternoon. Sucker gets in. Yeah, I we uh Sunday I played like four different um legendary decks on Sunday and one of them did have I did make an Esper version with a copy of Primeval's Glorious Rebirth and we got to use it a couple of times and it was pretty good. Like the the two times we cast it we won the game. And it was pretty sweet. All right, so Kaya should be real good here of like keeping their search for Kanta. Um, clear. Problem is I, like, want to have, like, mana to be able to counter a Wilderness Reclamation next turn. So I don't really want to play Kaya yet. Mnemonic. If I, if I didn't say that, that's what I meant to say. Mnemonic. Play your Wilderness Reclamation. Just play your Reclamation. Come on, buddy. You can do it. MVMT. Uh, pronounced movement. Movement uh, watches, sunglasses. Brand new sponsor to the stream that I'll be uh, talking about between the first and second leagues here whenever we get uh, more people in. But um, you get awesome watch. Get 15% off the watch there. Um, let's use this thing. I mean, I, I could just let that resolve and I have, like, my other Kaya. Hmm. We're going to do this. They were not close to flipping Escanta. They had two cards. So they're both gone now. Yeah. Yep. Right, there's the Reclamation. I do have the Binding for it. Want to get this land. Want to get another land drop so we can protect Binding. So five cards in exile right now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's not a bug, Dust Bomb. That's how that's supposed to work. Um, Nicol Bolas says you, you exile Nicol Bolas, like, you know, from, it gets exiled from the battlefield and comes into play for the owner. Um, so whoever's the owner does get the Nicol Bolas. Preach true with that Twitch Prime sub. Oh, Kazu Nadal. Sorry, I missed your statement. So, yeah, you said you've been in need of a watch. Well, there you go. You get a signing up, you know, getting one from Movement. Get, get your 15% off, and you get a donation deck, just like we were doing. Um, I 
earlier. So they have one card in hand. Let's counter this. At least try. Well, that's really annoying. What is up with MTG bot not being so? You won. This time. Binding looking better than uh, Vras's Contempt here. <laughs> Going to the DMV. You got this. Nikki Wonka getting the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Nikki Wonka. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suffer. And they have so many cards in their graveyard. I hope you've said your goodbyes already. Man, they're still gonna be able to flip the Ascanta. Man, they fill their graveyard so fast. Fill their graveyard so so fast. Yep, we'll take the Thought Rager. Right, I'm trying to figure out the what's going on with the MTG bot. We still we have the Ascanta. We're not out of gas completely. Our opponent just had, has gotten so much gas that that explosion resolving is like just been incredible for them. Um, I think I need to get rid of Niv Mizzet. Mean. Yeah. I mean, you know, like it's possible that Ascanta just gets an answer for, um, you know, finds an answer for Nimizit, and you know, taking the explosion could could have worked, but I just don't want to don't want to risk it. We had, I mean, a bunch of explosions is going to be tough too. Yeah, that's that's what we have to be worried about is explosion and and that. So I like how our opponent just played the insight right now, where we get to get rid of that with Arkaya. We'll get rid of this. 
Um, I already got one Teferi. Do I need another Teferi? The opponent scoops it up. Scoop, scoop a loop. All right, we got game one against Wilderness Reclamation. Very nice. Let's bring in all this stuff. We'll take out Baffling End to seal away Kaya's Wrath, settle the wreckage. Um, this is 62. I like all these cards. Like, what two cards are we cutting? Crushing Canopies. That's a good point. Yeah, I guess I probably don't need Mnemonic Betrayal. Good call. Yeah, I don't really need that in this matchup. Good call, good call. All right, so that's 61. Um... You think they're bringing in Carnage, Carnage Tyrants? Is that is that normal to go with when you already have Niv Mizzet? Do you need Carnage Tyrant as well? I could I could not play Ego. I could not have all these bindings. I go to three binding. Rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, these egos could be bad against this version of Wilderness Reclamation. If we get to fire off an early uh, ego, I'm I am naming Wilderness Reclamation. Like that's what I'm naming. I don't want them to have that card ever. Just gives them way too much mana. Well then, we'll see how good Ego is. <laughs> please don't have Spell Pierce. No Spell Pierce, please. Well, we'll take the Niv. I mean, I could take Shiv and Fire and Ego the Niv. I could, I could take Shiv and Fire and then play Thief of Sandy next turn. If I, the thing is, if I take Shiv and Fire, then they know to like opt to go go find it. So like, if I if I take Fire, I play Thief. Yeah, I've usually seen this deck with like three Nivs, honestly. Like Niv is like like one of their main win cons. Like, you know, Niv and Explosion are what they used to win. You just seen like three Niv, four Explosion. Um Already playing land number four next turn. I'm just taking Niv. I'm I'm just being safe. Um Don't do it. Don't play Reclamation. Alright, good. That's fine with me. See if this works. I really want to draw a black mana source so I can go Thought Erasure and Thief next turn. All right, they're copying it. What do you What do you want?
And I'm assuming they'll say Teferi. Kaya. <laughs> Well, I only had two Kaya's left in the deck, so I will I will gladly take this ex back. expansion out of their hand to remove the two Kaya's that are somewhere in my deck. Um, yeah, it's gonna take this Wilderness Reclamation. So they have three. One canopy. They did have two other Niv Mizzets. So two Niv Mizzets, two oozes are like their only ways to win. They went pretty down on expansion explosion. Only two explosion. Two explosion, two Niv, two ooze. So we, I mean, we still need to draw another black mana source to be able to get, get rid of this ooze. This ooze can certainly just kill us. Hey, what's up, Beagle? Welcome to the channel. Right. That thing's gonna kill a thief anyway, whatever. If you show remorse, I'll show you straight. Okay. So they have an Ascanta, we have a Teferi. Good news is whenever they activate Ascanta, they only have three mana. That's the good news there. Oh, I, I missed the mission briefing. We need to move quickly. What are they going to do with this mission briefing? Make explosion cost six mana. Yeah, really glad they didn't name Teferi right about now. They're on Mordigo. So they can briefing negate. Save the mana for that. Skip to the good part. I don't really want my Ascanta countered. You can just kind of wait a sec. Well, if I, if I play Thief, they wait till end step to Canopy, and then I play as Kanta, they just mission briefing negate it, they just untap and Canopy the Thief. We have four Duresses to go with four Thought Erasures, even though we've seen two Thought Erasures. So we have six discard spells, uh, and we have a lot of counter magic. Drawing two cards a turn, we just don't need to like throw our very valuable things out there and allow let our opponent use their mana. Um, and so no, Thief into Ascanta wouldn't be safe. 
and they would have they'd be able to answer both of those. Now they did use the use the mission briefing. So they have so they're not going to be able to negate now. Looks like they're going to explosion the Teferi for two. You yeah, no problem, Sunny D. No, it's good good questions. I always like always like questions. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? opponent doing besides nothing they accidentally get disconnected well so they're like a move that I can play though is play the thief of sanity exile my thief of sanity put put counters on my teferi ultimate my teferi it's like if my opponent tapped out that's what I would be doing is you know like I like I would like to ultimate to fairy next turn. So like that's like something that I I have like on my radar if that opportunity presents itself. Which it does not with us having our opponent having a couple answers there. Our deck's a little janky. We have, you know, a lot of, like, really good cards. You know, we're, we're basically a, a different version of uh, Asper Control. Hey, there, the MTG bots catching up. Beagle. Thanks again, Beagle, for that resub there for the second month. Alright, wanna know? Let's mark this up over here. Okay, we're gonna need some more lands. In fact, this hand's a little risky. It's so one thing about the deck, I'm just playing 25 lands and I I am kinda worried about that. I am kind of worried that I don't have enough lands that I should be playing 26 and not 25. Because I don't have like a lot of card draw early. Alright, well usually we have a lot of exile stuff. So, you know, presumably Adanta Vanguard won't affect us too much. History? That's uh, not history banali, but I'm still countering it. I put two t two permanents on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, sweet sweet opponent, having tithe taker also. I need them to play something that costs three or more for me to be able to counter with syncopate, because I can only syncopate for two because of the tithe taker. That's really annoying. They get an Adanto Vanguard and a 1-1 token. 
I'll probably be just playing a Teferi and tucking the Dante Vanguard and, you know, sacrificing it that way unless we can find an Exile removal spell. Um... So this is 10 right now, and we're at 11. I think it's a little too risky to play Perception. I can no longer stand by and watch. I'm not ready for this quite yet. That was really unfortunate how our syncopate didn't line up that other turn. This is hardly my worst defeat. What do we want to do? The easy play is just sell the score, the Lux, the Luxodon. Which I guess that's what I do. You know, we have five two mana removal spells. But like this would have to like hit a land plus one of those. Oh, that's really nice for us. We actually get to do something with the syncopate. Um This isn't a fight you can win. You need to slow down. Okay. Got to find something for that. Ooh. There we go. No time for a break. Well, that helps. Um <laughs> Do I risk it of like having the seal away for the Dante Vanguard or do I just play the safe play and and binding? Safer. Safer because we get binding, and then if it doesn't work, we seal away. Like, if, if this last card's a counter spell. They don't usually have counter magic game one, though, right? Yeah, we have syncopate because of the exile aspect. But no, I, I don't like syncopate too much either. It's kind of a crappy card. Bottom that. Keep these. All oh, right, we're untapping two lands anyway. Nice. We have double seal away. Double seal away. Double seal away. Come double seal away with me, you guys. Ooh, that one. Oh, that worked. All right. Hurry. 
All right, we should be doing just fine. Unfortunately, we ha we're just doing like normal as per control stuff. We haven't found Kaya to do more cool things. Probably not scooping yet. With me being at just just at three. Never mind. Okay. Let's go. Baffling end. Kaya's wrath settle. Um. Syncopates are out of here. Nagates. Probably not a mnemonic, mnemonic betrayal matchup. I can have duress instead of Nagate, so I can find, so I can take their Conclave Tribunal before they can play it. Kind of thing. I think I like Duress over Nagate. Yeah, especially with Tithe Taker. Yeah, Duress. Is Mnemonic good here? Maybe. Hey, what's up, Dutch? Dutch, I, I emailed uh, the Quit people and got you counted towards... I got the... Uh... It's Mulligan. That's Mulligan. Um, got you counted. So we are seven out of the ten quip purchases now from our next twelve hour stream. Yeah, you just you just keep playing Dutch and just uh you know, you can do like the events if you want, like I do, like where you uh, add gold and, and play them, but you know, if you don't have your tier one deck. But yeah, you just you just kind of play and, and practice and, and get better and stuff like that. Um, that's all there is to do right now while you wait. Flipped Legion's Landing is going to be really tough. Yep, got the credit for it. Yeah, flipped Legion's Landing is going to be tough. Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. So they, yeah, they didn't get the city's blessing until like they they needed the Adanto the first fort to flip, for that for that last mana to be able to play the um, Dauntless bodyguard. So they could not have done the three more damage. They needed that extra mana. I had guild business to attend to anyway. Beating this, like, we got all this covered, but beating the Adanto the first fort is going to be a huge challenge. I don't, I don't have an answer to that. Once it's flipped like this. I need a Teferi. Need a Teferi. Or we get a Thought Erasure. Probably some counter spell in their hand. Alright, Luxodon. Yeah, probably need to just keep these Kai's Wraths.
Probably gonna need the next one too. Gross. To fairy. To fairy. Teferi. Nope. Yeah, just that's what the auto passing needs. Let it resolve. I don't need a duress yet. We'll like wait till we have like something that we need to actually. Like, I kind of want a Binding Tribunal. Um, I could just Binding this Vanguard, though, and not have to settle. Which I guess they could have They could have Tribunal here. I don't know. I'll fire this thing off. And there's their Tribunal. How nice would it be if we could just Binding the token and they couldn't make any more tokens? All right, Teferi a little late. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to settle next turn. I mean, I have to use some kind of removal. I can't just play Teferi here. Um, actually, I'm going to play this so that if we draw a land, we can have settle available too. Like Teferi, tick up, untap. Oh, we need two lands for that. Right. It's still gonna be so hard to be able to beat this thing. You know what? I'm not done yet. I honestly don't know if we can. Like I am not really thinking of anything in our deck. Like we don't have any creatures. Um I guess if we draw Kaya, we can start gaining a little bit of life. Yeah, I guess Kaya is like our, our one card we can draw. Kaya. Hold that thought. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I boarded out the betrayal, unfortunately. Yeah, I listened to Muse's new album. Um but I didn't take very much time to listen to it. I just like uh did it while I was kind of busy with like other stuff. Um I remember I thought it was pretty good, but I don't really remember a whole lot of it whole lot besides just that you know what I'm not done yet Okay, as long as they don't kill us this turn. As long as they don't kill us this turn, I think we got this. As long as they if they draw a blank, I think we win. Or no, we'll be a little actually no, we're not going to win. So we need we need to be able to draw a card also. Crap. I need to save that perception actually. 
Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, how are we... Oh, gosh, we can't... So I can, I can ultimate Teferi here. Dang it, I need to draw one card, though, because they, they still get their other token. Oh, we are so close. We are one life away. So if I, if I ultimate Teferi... My next turn, I get to use the, the ultimate to get rid of the Adanta, the first fort. But that's not good enough. So I need Kaya here to gain. I need to gain two life. I need Kaya. So let's let's surveil first to look for Kaya. That's not Kaya. All right. Hope this is Kaya. Come on, Kaya. Let's skip to the good part. Dang it. Ah, uh, so close. Yeah, we could ultimate to fairy, but they would have had one more little creature that would have hit us for one. We would have taken one more damage. Yeah, the Danto the first ward's just pretty difficult. Um, let's get this betrayal in here, take out a duress. I, of course, can play Thief as well, but no, we'll just play the betra Betrayal. Yeah, we were so close there. We almost stabilized. One life. Um, I think I'm going to need like a, a wrath effect or something. You know, we need our sweepers kind of early. I mean, Thief is only, can only block like against just like the flipped legions landing with nothing else. Thief doesn't like actually block like any of their real creatures. Looks like they may have an elephant here. Hmm. So, this is... Rough. If we seal away the Tithe Taker, yeah, I just don't have another answer to the Vanguard. Um, if I wait and seal away the Vanguard, they can flip the Legion's Landing. If I... I could play the Kaya and flip the... and exile the Legion's Landing and let Kaya die and then seal away the Vanguard. But then we have... then Kaya's dead. I mean, I guess that's... I kind of feel like that's like my best play. the opponent, the sweeter the victory. Sometimes burying them just isn't good enough. Yeah, this Tithe Taker is rough. Are you kidding me? Another landing? That's probably going to do it. time. Bravo.
draw some non-lands deck. Come on. Looks like they have negate. We can't beat negate here. And great hand. Beat our six card hand. All right, one and one. Rough couple games, especially that that second game. Man, we were just so close. Just couldn't couldn't quite stabilize against that one one. We needed we needed just one more life, and the game was over. That's all we needed was one life. But you know, that's how it is. That reverse control. All right, what does our opponent have here? Or what do we have? We keep a seven. Yeah, we can keep a seven. We'll try to draw some lands. Oh, the opponent's out of five. Sorry, opponent. If we don't hit lands, though, they can still win. Oh, is this red? Mono red? That's bad for us. Admittedly, our, our deck is just a lot better against... Or, you know, like, our deck is kind of built for mid-range matchups. Not, you know, not as much for these aggro matchups. Like, I, I don't have life gain in my deck at all. this good thing good thing is our opponents at five um five cards that is you know like like we're at 15 and they're out of cards so like we're we're honestly gonna be doing just we're like we're doing just fine right now Kai like we need Kaya Kaya I guess Kaya is our life gain because Kaya ultimates um are yeah you know, it does gain life so we can, we can gain quite a bit of life with those. Any hero decks? Like you mean like Hero of Precinct one, I, I assume? Hurry! Which are our, uh, the Naya Huatli we're gonna play later today is a Hero of Precinct one deck. We need to move quickly. Settle the score. That was pretty cool. Now we get to ultimate to fairy next turn. Ugh. Maybe not. <laughs> you want me to phase you out of time? Perfect. Um, we need another land though. I could, I could minus three and tuck this Viachino Pyromancer and then play Kaya. Yeah, that's fine. Well, no, 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 no. No time for a break. Okay, so we don't actually get Kaya this turn. All right, now we have Kaya. Hold that thought. Ooh, I like a good fight. Something better. Yes. I didn't say fair. Funny, that's what I do. They have seven cards in exile right now. 
Um, because all these cards that are under these seal aways and bindings and stuff count. You're not welcome here anymore. I really want to ultimate this Kaya before I. I just want to ultimate Kaya before we win. Keep up the pace. This is silly. I should just ultimate my Teferi. It's only game one, though. Remember, like, against the mono-white opponent last round, we won game one really convincingly and then lost games two and three. Um, you know, when, when a deck like ours wins, it doesn't win, but you know, like, barely. Hey, Dan from Brazil. Baffling end. Negate, negate. Um. Am I actually going to betrayal here? Okay, what else do we have? For cognitive perceptions, probably a little, a little slow. Um, I wonder if I want these thieves and stuff like that. If I play Thieves, I'm just taking out like the Kaya's Wraths. Um, maybe play another Settle to be able to deal with multiple creatures. I mean, I don't love Syncopate. Whoops, I meant to take that out. Take out one Search Risk Kanta. Dress is a little better than Thought Erasure because Thought Erasure is just so expensive. You may need to refresh your stream if Deckmaster is not working. Just, yeah, just refresh your stream. And it, hopefully it's good to go then. Well, I do need land, but I, also, I need black mana as well. I'll ship it. And we got there, black mana. Very nice. Let's just take this thing out here. No, I wanna make sure we take as little damage as possible. We want that thing out. Yeah, movement is MVMT. Pronounced movement is a uh, watch and sunglasses company, and you can get uh, fifteen percent off by going through my referral code and using the coupon code at Todd Stevens MTG. Hmm. And you also get a uh, free donation deck for signing up for uh, any purchase in the store with movement, uh, same as with Quip. Get your... So 
They're just never shocking. Even though it's kind of awkward how I don't get to ever play the search for Escanta. Alright, finally do. No. No divination. How are we looking over here? Two cards in the library? Two cards over there? I'm going to go graveyard. You know, that could be important because I just want to find, you know, like a Teferi, a Kaya, even a Thief of Sanity. You know, I, I want to search. And the other thing is putting these in the graveyard does help fill our graveyard for Ascantis. You know, like getting moving towards trying to flip Ascantis is certainly good. The crueler the opponent. Pack your bags and hit the road. We never get to exile creatures from graveyards. Um, because... <laughs> to be able to gain two life, because Kaya... Ooh, I'll take that one. Hate it when the dead groups stay dead. After this league, I'll uh, talk about movement a little more. Won't forget this. No, Makaya! I guess Steamkin's always just a 1-1 for us. Well, not always just a 1-1. Take the Lightning Strike in case they draw a creature. It feels like Esper in any deck with Krasis are the strongest right now. Yeah, the blue cards are just awesome in standard. Um, you know, even like the Wilderness Reclamation deck, same kind of thing. Like the blue cards are just awesome. They're very good. Let's see what we draw. The creature doesn't have haste. We don't like have to lightning strike it, even though it would use some mana on their turn. Slowly killing our opponent with this Thief of Sanity. See, that thing has haste. For that, we need to instant speed kill. We don't get to activate Escanta, but oh well. Hmm. I don't want to put Risk Factor in their graveyard. I'm taking the risk factor, but not planning on playing it. You know what? I'm not done yet. We have the lighting strike up. Alright, you finally got the Thief of Sandy. The Thief did pretty good work, though. Let's skip to the good part. We'll find another Kaya somewhere. There's a Kaya. And now, thankfully, they have creatures in their graveyard that we can exile and gain life. <laughs> Nothing phases. Or only exile one creature at a time.
Yeah, our opponent may have... Maybe they have, like, Bane Fire and stuff, too. Let's see what they do with this Lava Runner. Attacking Kaya. And... It's a little unfortunate for us. No time I wanted to use the break. cell to score. Ooh, they're at nine. All right, y'all ready for this? Okay, let's let's risk factor them. We're about to kill him with, with this Kaya. Oh no, they let me draw three. No. Oh, they're just going to take the damage. Ugh. And I was going to Thief and then Settle. And even took away a card from Exile. Funny, that's what I do. Oh, right, I could have just exiled the risk factor at that point, right. I was just kind of exiling two things. Whatever, I just want to ultimate the Kaya. Now, we're, now we get to do it. Um, I want to 11 exile cards. I wish I could exile another one of their cards somehow. We'll have to kill him with Eve Sandy. No, let me do the Kaya minus five. I clicked too slow. Looking too slow. Yeah, the cards exiled with thief count. So I guess I could have attacked with one thief. Or, you know, like the thieves first. And killed them. But, you know, I could have... Yeah, they would have taken enough damage. Anyway, but yeah, the cards exiled with thief count. Yep, that was my that was my line. Good Good line there. Play my Settle the Score on my Thief to put two counters on the Teferi, then I could ultimate the Teferi, and then I could play the new Teferi and tick up to draw a card so I could exile a land, and that's their 12 cards in exile, and then my Kaya minus 5 deals exactly 12. If only we had two lands. If only we had two spells. <laughs> Never getting two spells. Rude. I need a Ixlon's binding that thing. Yeah, there's a binding. Dun, dun. Do I even need a binding that thing? I was binding the spellbreaker. This turn. Yo.
All right, opponent, please don't draw something this turn. Get out of here, Rhythm of the Wild. Alright, where's our... Where's our Planeswalkers? Search for Kanto. We need some... Play something really expensive so I can syncopate it. So I'll syncopate for four. So I have to play something that costs four or more. Or just, you know, not... Uh, does not cost four or more. Stupid syncopate. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I can put this in tapped. Which is good, because I can't really shock and take the damage anyway. Six. <laughs> All right, still alive. Better not draw a spellbreaker. Yeah, that'll do. No, that will not do. I get some so many cards. Ugh. We were hanging on by a thread. Maybe I should not have binding to that Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, Baffling End, Settle, get rid of these things. Kaya's Wrath. Um... Play a thief. Just the one thief? Yeah, just the one thief. Oh, this one thief in here just to get him. All tapped lands is a little unfortunate. And we don't really want the mnemonic betrayal in our hand. You know, it's, it's our late game card. I mean, kind of the same with Perception. Like, these are our late game cards that would have been really nice to draw the last game. Alright, at least no Cinder Vines. That's kind of good for us. Um... Am I playing this Kaya? Kaya doesn't really do anything. Right now, just gonna take some damage. Hey, D Lev. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, what do we got for a donation deck here? Gruel Frenzy. Alright, you can... I can get you in instead of the Simic Adapt here. That's my one slot I have. I can get you in there. Um, play Akaya, exile the, the Lanoir Elf. And then Kaya dies. Oh, 
Not on my I'm gonna watch. make you suffer. Next turn, perception. I'll be back. Just you wait. I like the the music with per precognitive perception. So I'm taking Kai's Wrath for sure. The what I'm thinking about is Seal Away, whether we want Seal Away or not. Um And I guess so. I mean we need to find like Teferis and stuff like that. We do need removal as well. I mean it's it's better than a random card. We need to stop finding so many lands. Every fight makes me stronger. This rule deck is just like built to be shield. control deck. Like that's that's all this is is just like aggro deck that's built to be control. That's all our opponent's deck is, with like main deck Rhythm of the Wild, Vivian's, like. That's all they have. It's pretty rough for us. So I, I cannot cast Settle against Cruel Spellbreaker. I can't even seal away that thing. Come to me. Um. Yeah. I mean, this. Yeah. This card is. Uh, is of course really good with Kaya's ultimate. Um. But it's also like a, a really good card when you have a lot of mana. You know, when you're at like 8, 10 mana, like in the late game, you usually get to play a bunch of spells. The problem is, is it doesn't work in our deck too well, considering the rest of our deck. The rest of our deck exiles, so this card just doesn't doesn't really fit in our deck too well. Because we are exiling everything so they don't have things in their graveyard. I mean, correct my opponent, my opponent's playing it pretty well, too. But I, I can't beat this Vivian or this Rhythm of the Wild. Now with just a bunch of lands and... Kaya's and Mnemonic Betrayals. It's only target player, I can't deal damage to like a Planeswalker with this thing. a good bite. Notice I didn't say Fair. pack your bags and hit the road. Hey Kalua King. And hey track team. Day's going good. We have um, four awesome donation decks here. You can't stop nature. But 
We're not going to win this matchup, though. Our opponent's deck is... built to beat ours. That's 16. We're at 16. That's just lethal. Even if I like, have the Kaiser Wrath, I don't have like a way to deal with the Vivian that's going to ultimate either. I think I would lose this matchup like 80 times out of 100, probably. Like with, with these two decks. Could not cast Settle the Wreckage because of Spellbreaker. So yeah, I couldn't cast it. Um, so yeah, with the, with the deck, uh, the one thing that, you know, I try and like the mnemonic betrayal here uh, to be kind of interesting with the Kaya, but that's just not, it's just not worth it, um, unfortunately. This is the one card that I think you'd kind of probably have to go. Um, in its spot, you could have something like Mortify if you want, you know, like your instant speed enchantment removal. Um, or... I feel like this this deck could use just a little bit more card draw. Doesn't need like a ton, but a little bit more. Like maybe just the Chemister's Insight. Um, Discovery is another option. But Chemister's Insight does work pretty well with Settled Wreckage. Um, we saw the downside of Kaya. I mean, you know, like we're playing like this janky deck with Kaya, but Kaya doesn't... You know, Kaya doesn't generate any value for you. If your opponent doesn't have a one CMC card for you to exile, uh, like the tick up doesn't, you know, do anything that, you know, gets you cards or takes away cards or anything like that. That's just kind of what Kaya is. Um, but... That's okay. So, like, you know, that's that's something that we know about. Um, obviously, Teferi was, like, you know, one of our best cards. Because, you know, Teferi's just awesome. Yeah, we had to sell the score instead of Contempt. Because uh, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see if we could um, get some some surprise Planeswalker Ultimates with it. And honestly, it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't really miss Contempt with this card. Um, you know, if we would have maybe drawn Contempt or drawn to settle the score... Uh, with our opponent chilling with that uh, Vivian over there, maybe I would have thought differently. Um, oh yeah, Kaya, Kaya is definitely better in modern than in standard. Yeah. Um, but you know, we so we were doing something a little different with our Esper Exile deck, and I liked it. I mean, we we played one matchup that we're just not going to win that Gruel deck. Uh, so you know, like whatever, like that's just not not a matchup we're going to ever win. So. We won two of the other three, and our our one our other loss was one where after winning game two, game th or sorry after winning game one, game two was so incredibly close. All we needed was one more life, and we would have won because um, we would have been able to stabilize and they with Teferi ultimate and had enough cards to lock him out. We just couldn't deal with with one little one one for a turn um, that was going to come in at our end step. We had. Too many sorcery speed removal spells there. Um, in that match, I may have had settle the score, and maybe if the settle score was the contempt, we would have won, kind of thing. Oh no, no, I did have settle the score, but we needed the settle the score for the Teferi to ultimate. But honestly, I guess, I guess that match, I think we would have won if settle was contempt, honestly, because the the two life that we would have gained and had an instant speed removal spell, because I think we were still going to be able to ultimate the Teferi the the next turn. We needed that little bit of life. So honestly, yeah, if settled score was contempt, that one game that we lost, I wasn't really thinking about it at the time because you know I was just trying to figure out how to win with the settled score. But yeah, if it was contempt, uh, looking back at it, I think we would have won that match. Uh, would mnemonic betrayal be worth a slot if you ran thought collapse? Probably not. But you would need to you need to run more things that that put cards in graveyards for sure. A card that I thought about um, for that and to be able to help Kaya and everything like that was Patient Rebuilding, like instead of Precognitive Perception. Because um, this can get you a whole lot, whole lot more cards over time. 
than what perception does. The only thing is it's it is pretty vulnerable to the the uh you know being an enchantment kind of thing. Um I'm more ego and the sideboard is for the wilderness reclamation decks. We played against a wilderness reclamation deck, brought it in, took their reclamations. Um that's mostly what it's for. It's also good against Arc Light Phoenix. Uh you know, we have Kaya for Arc Light Phoenix also, but I would I would still bring it in for Arc Light Phoenix. Um there. The patient rebuilding, if we would have had that instead of perception, that last game against Gruul, I think they would have just destroyed it with their Vivian. Which means they wouldn't have ultimate Vivian immediately, but we still would have died to the creatures. Like the patient rebuilding wouldn't have really helped us there. But a pretty pretty interesting deck. You know, it's a if you like Esper Control but you want to kinda of jank it up, um for F and M and stuff. There we go. Give this a try. Give Esper Exile a try. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, but that's it for um, Esper Exile. And thanks for watching. Uh, or yeah. Urza's Ruinous Blast is going to be too hard to cast. Yeah, that, that one's going to be too hard to cast. Um, don't think you want that card too much. Uh, yeah. All right, let me click this. All right, so we're going to have Grixis Dragons up next that's our next deck here for today save hey it's on 1960 pal i think i missed your message earlier um but before we get to uh grixis dragons here i would like to mention a brand new sponsor to the stream Movement. So Movement is a company that sells watches and sunglasses. Um, and have a referral link. You go, th go through the link. Log in with Twitch. Should work. Use the coupon code uh, ToddStevensMTG. You get 15% off applied at checkout. Um, I currently have the blue and brown watch myself and these are just good quality watches that um you know don't cost a ton of money can i show this it's really good coloring and everything too Ooh, there we go that's a little bit better um so we're doing just like with a quit from earlier we're doing where uh, if 10 people go in and make any store purchase um let's go low to high We'll be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate, and also if you uh, purchase anything through the website and use my coupon code, use my referral link and my coupon code, you get a free donation deck as well. There's the, the classic blue and brown. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Kaluo King. So yeah, um, movement was started by just like a, a couple of broke college kids that were like, man, we want really nice watches, um, but we don't really want to pay for really nice watches because you know like in just department sports stores they can be like four hundred five hundred dollars and things like that so they decide to start their own watch company so they have watches for men's and women's they also have uh sunglasses as well um that you can use uh the coupon code for 15 percent off as well if you're a sun a fan of sunglasses um there we go i've i've uh you know i've worn um some nice watches before um but what i really like about this movement watch is that it fits my wrist and i have a really 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 small wrist as you can tell like i i actually go through like this this uh the very last um uh whatever these things are called 
um, the last opening here um, because I have a really small wrist. And usually even with that, like the uh, wrist, wrist watch will um, still be like really big and clunky and, and things like that. Um, but it just fits, it fits really well. The leather isn't uh, really dry and um, it doesn't, you know, like hurt your skin or anything like that. You know, just not like rashing your, your skin. And, and I like how it can just stay on and everything like that. So there we go. Um, check it out. Sunglasses, of course, watches as well. Like I said, I have the classic blue and black um, myself, which is one of their cheaper watches. You know, if you go here, like I did before, price low to high. Um, you know, like these are some really quality ones. I think this this white and black uh, tan one here, like this one looks pretty nice. Myself, I like this one. But yeah, there we go. That's the the one that I got from the site. So check them out. Get fifteen percent off using the referral code there. Okay, so up next we got Grixis Dragons. Here we go. Grixis Dragons here is a deck that uh, a friend of mine from Texas, Jerry Terry, was the one that uh, actually built this deck and um, put it together. Um, you know, like, you've seen, like, some Grixis Dragons decks probably on, like, the 5-0 list and stuff like that. Um, uh, but haven't seen it, you know, appear too often um, recently. So I want to try to bring it back. Sultai is, of course, kind of a tough matchup with having, you know, Krasis now that also is a flyer in the air that can tussle with uh, your dragons. Um, and then, of course, Vivian that, that kills... All your dragons, even a 4-3 Jade Light Ranger is annoying. Like when you have Varix, Bladewing, Nicol Bolas, and cards like that. Okay, let me get the YouTube liner up. All right, let me get the Esper deck uploaded on YouTube, and I need to update the decklist command here. Stream videos. 